Hey there, my handsome and pretty little cobras and those of you who are new, my name is Mignon Cobra and I make minimalist videos. Today's minimalistic video is going to be my minimalist mini wallet collection. So without further ado, let's just get into the video. Let's get it, let's go. Woo. So I have them here and I'm just gonna show you them one by one, chronological order. So the first one that I have here is my MK. This is the first one that I ever got that was this type, which is a card holder. And I got this, I think, when I was in teacher's college. So that was about six years ago. So this thing is a little bit old, but because at the time I was like, oh, luxury purchase, I didn't use it a lot. So it's still like in really good condition. So you can see here. Yeah, this is one of like, one of my favorite. I used to buy fakes when I was younger. So this is one of the first real leather small products that I got. And I really like it a lot. At the time, I got it in white and I wasn't sure if I should have gotten in white but now that I'm like older and I wear a lot of beige stuff a lot of cream stuff so this uh, is actually really good I actually mostly use this as a subway card because I find that like it's very like thin and light so um, here at the back is my yo-yo ka which is like my Taiwanese subway card and yeah just use it for that it's really good for just kind of going into like another bag and you just like put it in there it has little compartments in there all right, the next small mini bag that I got was this one. This this is actually a replica that I picked up while I was in Korea. I really have really wanted a YSL bag for a really long time. Currently, because like I'm still in school and I'm in medical school, it's a lot of expenses. I just can't justify such a luxury purchase. So uh, I made a broke student decision and I copped fake. I wanted a makeup bag, but I just, I didn't like how all the reviews I saw online were like the inside would get all like nasty. And I was like, I don't want to spend a thousand dollars on a little makeup bag just for it to get dirty but anyway the YSL that I have it's a replica if you guys have seen on my Instagram I also use this as my pencil case for when I go to the library to study this is what it looks like on the inside it's like red like um, a maroon red it has the insignia in the front the you know it's a replica because it's missing a piece here where they cut off the T so instead of being like YSL it had like YT cell or the L became a T, so it's like missing a little piece there, but yeah, you kind of get used to it. It's really good. I, I got this for, I think, like $10 Canadian. Um, I forgot how much that was in Korean, but yeah, it was just, we were walking through Myeongdong, and I saw like one of the vendors, they just had like little makeup bags there in the front, and I saw this one was YSL, and I just thought, wow, like that looks really pretty. This would be really good. I was looking for a new makeup bag, and I wanted black one with like some gold on it, and I was just like, okay, let's just pick this up. So this actually is also a memory of my trip in Korea. I didn't buy much when I was in Korea, so uh, this is one of the things that I, I got. In the future, I'll be able to show a real one, but right now, a uh, broke student bitch. <laughs> All right, the next one that I got is this one. This is my long wallet, and uh, except for YSL and I guess MK and Coach, I don't like brand names on my stuff. It's pretty funny, I have this Supreme. Like these things are like left over from my really like consumerist days, and I try to kind of like merge it in together with my minimalistic ways. I'm not gonna get rid of a shirt. I think that's very wasteful just because I'm a minimalist now. This is like my basic black tee, and it has LV on it, and it's just I don't know. It's nostalgic. It reminds me of what I used to be. I'm supposed to be talking about the wallet. And here I'm talking about my shirt. Anyway, there's no like logo on it, so it's so nice so minimalistic it's like in this really pretty beige that i'm just living for it's like a beige gray kind of color so this is um this is real leather i picked this up from one of the craftsmanship shops here in taiwan and on the inside i really like the print here it's very minimalistic it's like black and white lines and it's so thin it doesn't even show up on camera the thing that i don't like about like real leather is that like if it gets a stain on it it's so difficult to get rid of i have like the smallest little stain there if you guys can see and I'm just like, oh, I really like long wallets. Um, I had another long wallet before that I decluttered and I just find that I, I actually like long wallets. I know that a lot of people don't, but I find that I like that the bills are just like, they're not folded. I know that's weird. I just like that they're like, they're crisp when they come out. Oh, another thing that I want to say about like leather goods. Recently, I've, I've been really feeling leather goods and because it's more sustainable than plastic. Plastic is actually not that good for the environment. And I find that my leather products is actually better use of my money. Um, leather goods that I have owned, like this one, for example, six or seven years old. They just, they, there's just best bang for the buck. And as a minimalist, I just don't advocate for buying a lot of fake plastic stuff that doesn't last you when you could just have one or two solid items that would last you for like 
years, even close to like decades, like as you guys have seen in my coat, my coach bag, I've, I've owned for like over a decade. So I feel like I just rather invest in a couple solid pieces that are classic and that are made of leather that would just last me a lot longer and I get a better wear of them as I use them. Okay, the next thing that I have, this really small, cute little wallet. I picked this up in Miniso. This is my coin purse, and it has gold hardware with like a silver, silvery lining inside, and just keep my coins in there. This thing is made of plastic actually, but it used to have written here in gold, uh, Jour de Chance, kind of wore out. And at the back, it has like two little card holders. This little wallet is really nice. It's very mini. It can also fit into another bag. The thing about this though, is that it isn't leather. It's a type of plastic, but wow, it, it's really, really durable. Will bought this for me actually. It's a uh, 10 RMB and it was on sale for three RMB, but it was really, really affordable and it's really, really pretty. And I really like how it matches with this one so this is like my bill wallet and this is my coin wallet because i think coins are kind of dirty and i don't like it going inside my leather goods so this plastic bag i could like wash if i think it starts to get dirty because you know coins are all like metally and they have like that metal smell and i don't really like it Okay, the next wall that I have, I said that this video was going to be in chronological order. Turns out it's not in chronological order, but anyway, this is my little coin purse. This is from Line Friends. This is um, authentic Line Friends. I have unfortunately bought some fake line stuff when I was in China because there was no line store at the time. But, and this, this little thing has been with me for a really long time. I know it's kind of like childish, like a little cute little duck, but I don't know. I guess it's funny. You go through cycles. Now that I'm like older, I actually really appreciate some of the few things that I still have from like my early 20s. And this is one of them that I feel like is something that I indulge in and, and it makes me really happy. So yeah, I recently uh, got gifted this little one. Um, this is a line friends one. See this, this little line friend one, this one isn't from the official line store. This is actually a collab between Miniso and Line Friends. So I just put them together. I found that I had like a little hook here. So I stuck them together. Will gifted me this one for Chinese New Year. As you can see, Sally is wearing a Chinese New Year outfit. So cute. And it has like a little strap here. So this is really good for like latching on my keys. I use this for coins, miscellaneous stuff, bills, keys, lipstick. Sometimes it becomes my lipstick holder. It's actually the perfect shape for carrying around my BB cushions too. On the inside, I have, this is my temple. Good luck. I also like that this is also the same colorway, yellow and red. I get one each year. Anyway, you're supposed to carry it on you, on your person. So I just put it in here and I also got the Sally bag blessed at the temple like years ago. So I kind of couldn't bring myself to declutter it. There's a period of time where I was decluttering a lot of childish things that I had, but this happened to be one of the few things that um, I left behind in Taiwan and it survived the declutter, <laughs> the siege. So I, now that I'm older, I come back to it. It just has a very nostalgic retro kind of feel. And so I'm just loving it. I don't know. It just it has such a nice pop of color now with like against all my like neutrals that I just, I really appreciate it. Okay. So this is my most recent purchase. I got this from net and this, oh my God, it still has the leather smell. Oh, so good. Anyway, I really wanted to buy one of the YSL little small wallet ones i think it's like the coin wallet but i again if you guys have seen my other videos i just cannot currently at the time justify the like the cost for ysl even like secondhand I saw this one this was now at net in taiwan they're doing they have like this little like genuine leather series and oh, oh my god when i saw this this was only 2.99 nt uh, i think that's like 13 canadian for genuine leather like at the back i also that same day i stopped by the ysl store and they sprayed perfume on this and so i put this little thing inside here and it's yeah you can just put like your cards inside but oh, it smells so good so i just put that in there and i just like the aesthetic the ysl aesthetic matches with this little wallet because it, it is inspired like net does sometimes do things that are replicas of popular luxury items so without the logo being on it for like a hundredth of the price so anyway i just latched on some extra stuff i latched on my coach tag onto here i like these like things it makes it easier for like opening and closing this one is the my current wallet so i have my bills in here and i have some coins and at the back i just have my bank cards and stuff and my student card so this bag is really minimalistic and super pretty and i'm so in love with it and i love how small it is for days when i feel like using like a smaller wallet i use this and then on days when i feel like bouging it up i change into this anyway that is my higher mini wallet collection if you guys enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't done so yet check out my instagram and i will see you guys in my next video thanks for watching bye